Hey guys, Tark with Cycling FPV, and I'm getting ready to do another kit video, a DIY kit video, and this time it's going to be on one of our newest drones. I'm going to try to actually find it here online for you so I can show you on the internet uh, exactly where you'll be able to find this one. So let me show you. This is going to be the QI 96, uh, and I'll show you right here on our website. If you go to cyclingfpv.com and then you go down to frames and bundles and click your two inch frames link, you'll see the QI 96 frame and then the QI 96. Uh, bundle right here and that's what I'm going to be building today so if you look at this one right here there you go that's it now this one uh, comes with the uh, I, I put the camera on top the HD camera on top uh, that's not what's going to be in the build today but what we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and assemble everything like it is on the website so if you click on here and I let me see if I can show this to you so let's try this hold on one second uh, what's happening here there we go there now you got my ugly mug with it okay so if we click on this you're going to see all the contents right here so uh we're going to use the hdlr cf413 this is going to be full stack with the esc the flight controller and the vtx uh we are going to use the hdlrc motors as well and the hdlrc elf cam and uh, we're also going to use it's a uh, d8 compatible but i think we're actually going to go through uh nameless uh nameless rc uh uh, uh sorry free sky um <coughs> transmitter oh sorry uh, so anyways, my brain's going a little nuts here. Let's uh, let's get started, right? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get started with the frame. And then like I've done before now, I'm actually going to break this into two sections. So let me change the screen view here. There we go. All right, so we're going to be taking this from a straight down shot. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get started with the frame. All right, so I'll leave this little guy right there, and we'll get started with the frame. So when you receive it, let's go ahead and just cut it open. Okay. And you can throw some of these contents out. I'm going to take the plastic back, throw that out, open this one up. All right. Okay. So uh, we've got our um, side camera mounts. We've got our bottom uh, silicone piece, which is going to be for a non-slip for our LiPo. And then we've got our top plate right here, right? So let me go ahead and get this stuff put on. And we can just take it from there. You don't have to pop these pieces out if you don't want to just yet. You can do it once it's uh, once you put this on there. But if you feel like doing it right now, that's fine. Basically, just peel that uh, adhesive side off. And then what you're going to do is you're going to kind of place it around where the screw would go, right there. Make sure that you leave all the screw holes open just like that. Okay? And that way you can fit the screws inside. And this will fit a 16 by 16 and a 20 by 20 stack. So that makes it pretty easy. Uh, next thing you're gonna wanna do, and this is just to make sure that you understand the assembly part of this, okay? You can take it, you're gonna take it apart very quickly. Um, so what we'll do first is, uh, we've got two sets of screws here, so let me go ahead and get those out. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and start fastening these. So the standoffs will go, you're gonna have three standoffs, so the standoffs are gonna go one to the back, just like that. All right, and then we're gonna go one to the side here. Just like that. And we're gonna go one to the side right here, just like that. All right, go ahead and screw that down. Okay, and then the, your camera plate, let me get rid of the trash here, All right? And then it'll be your camera pieces and they're gonna be going, this will be on the top facing outward, right? So the point's gonna go out like that. The other one will go out like this. We'll go ahead and put our plate on, just like that. Put the screws in, and now I'll get the screwdriver. So bear with me a second. These are M2 screws, so uh, let me get the screwdriver for that, which is gonna be this one right here. All right, so there's one. Two, and then the last one and that's it your frame after this piece is fully assembled all right so now once you make sure that you've got everything together um, that's it that's part of the frame build okay and that's how this video is gonna go so we're gonna cut these videos short and that's gonna be part one which is basically the frame assembly you can tell everything's pretty solid here uh, It's very thick uh, carbon fiber it's cut pretty well and uh, looks like it's ready to go so we'll end that here 
right? And uh, what we'll do now is we'll get ready to go to part two. Part two, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get the stack and we're gonna start with the ESCs and the motors, okay? Um, and in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the ESCs, uh, I'll just lay it in there and I'm gonna go ESC and motor at the same time because uh, it's not gonna help you if, um, if we just put the ESC, there's really nothing to do with it until we uh, solder the wires to it. But to do that, we've got to get the motors uh, measured properly on the wires. Okay, so we're going to do all that in the next video, guys. If you have any questions, uh, make sure to email me at cyclotark at cyclonfpv.com. You can always subscribe to our channel, please, to support me. That would really help a lot. And then also follow us on, is it follow us? Yeah, follow us on Facebook, okay? Uh, other than that, spend time with your family. God bless, guys. Stay flying, and I'll see you shortly. All right, see you soon. Bye.